ancient Indian art of painting symbolized a move from the particular to the universal. There is an apparent lack of individualistic expression in traditional Indian art and sculpture. There are few Indian paintings of actual personages, rulers, or rich patrons. This is a unique strength of Indian art, that it strived for the universal as opposed to the particular. The themes represented in paintings carried the rich tradition of philosophy, both rational and spiritual, incorporated a profound symbolic language based on visual representations of all the important philosophical concepts. These included the chakra, the revolving wheel of time, which symbolized the cyclical rhythms of the cosmos, the padma, or the lotus symbol, which embodied the prime symbol of creation, of the universal creative force that springs from the bosom of the earth. The Ananta, represented as a snake, symbolized water, the most important life-giving force, and the infinite ocean from which all life emerged, got differentiated and then got remerged and redissolved. The Svastika, representing the fourfold aspects of creation and motion, the Purnakalasa, or the overflowing flower pot, a symbol of creativity and prosperity, the Kalpalata and the Kalpavriksha, the wish fulfillment creeper or tree that were also symbols of imagination and creativity, Gavaksha, sometimes understood to be the third eye, Mriga or deer, symbolic of erotic desire and beauty, and Lingam and Yoni, the male and female fertility symbols. Rules were also evolved to provide additional symbolic content through hand gestures or mudra of painted deities. Deities were sometimes given multiple arms to signify energy, power, movement, and is symbolic of the celestial dance. Different arm positions embodied different virtues such as wisdom, strength, generosity, kindness, and caring. Multiple arms thus signify multiple virtues. The 6th century classical text on the art of painting, Chitra Sutra of Vishnu Dharmatara Purana expounds, As Sumeru is the best of mountains, Garuda the chief of birds, and a lord of the earth, the most exalted amongst men, so is painting the best of all arts, conducive to dharma, pleasure, wealth, and emancipation.